Hi, my name is Tara Manisic and I'm a developer advocate for Progress. Today, I'm here to talk to you about one of the new libraries from Kenda UI built specifically for React. So, what is this Kendo I speak of? Kendo is UI is a user interface component library. And these are components that range everywhere from things you would use every day for like forms you could use, our inputs, our drop down lists, buttons, and also bigger things and grander things for more robust applications like your data visualizations and grids that are interactive. So, why React? Kendo UI team has been building component libraries for over 15 years. So they have a lot of experience with component libraries. And they've built them for jQuery and Angular and Vue. And now they're out with a true library built specifically for React. Side note. When you have a license to get the React libraries, it also means that you have access to the jQuery and Vue and Angular libraries as well. Not that anybody would ever stray from React or have different projects where they use different libraries, but just in case you have that at your disposal. So why React? Well, they decided to build a library specifically for React because React is cool. Okay, <laughs> but also a lot of developers use it, including myself and probably you. We, a lot of people, a lot of us developers use React. It is very popular. So the Kendo team wanted to build a library that made making those React applications more efficient, faster, easier. So this is why we have a library that's specifically for React. So this is saying no funny business behind the scenes of wrappers, although we do have wrappers, if that's what you prefer. But now this library is built specifically for React. So when you are building a React application and you use the Kendo UI components, it still comes down to being an actual React application because these are true React components. So what all does that mean for your React application? These React components are composable. So you can precisely configure them to exactly whatever you need, which will give you more precision of exactly what you want, customization. But you can also use these components. They do support controlled and uncontrolled state. So whatever mode you need, we got you. So what other components are there? I know that I gave you a list of a few of the components at the top of the video, but now I want to show you the full list of the current available components we have readily available for React. It's a long list. <laughs> but make sure you go and check out the website kendaui.com to get the real up-to-date component list of all the components we have available and also our roadmap to see what's coming. To use these components, all you need to do is install them using NPM and then import them into your project and add them to your template. So it's pretty easy and that's basically the main syntactical pattern that you use every time you use our components. What is left? Obviously there's more left because look how much longer we have left on the video. <laughs> but really, one of my favorite parts about using the Kendo UI components is that they do a lot of the styling work for you. As a CS major, I can attest that styling is hard. <laughs> CSS is hard. So one thing that you get with the Kendo UI components are theme libraries, and that includes the Kendo default theme, material, bootstrap. These are basically libraries that all you really need to do, like the very minimum thing that you can do is install with NPM and then import it into your project. And then let me get into like, the next step's really, really complicated. Uh, just kidding. That's it. That's all you need to do if you want to easily incorporate style, like add no, adding none of your custom stuff. But it will give you, with just that amount of effort, 
give you lovely styled components where the style is consistent across your application, across all the components, even across projects. And you don't really have to touch the CSS files, which I find very nice. But you also get um, different interactions and animations with these style libraries. So all of the things that make your components really usable and really user-friendly are included by including these style libraries. It's very nice. More, 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 more. There is more <laughs> that comes with these components that I want to talk to you about today. Accessibility. Accessibility is important. You want as many people as possible to be using your application and to feel comfortable using your application. But it does take time, it does take effort to add correct um, standard accessibility to your web application. But when you use the Kenda UI components, a lot of we give you a lot of accessibility right out of the box. So this includes um, section 508. W3C Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, Y Aria, and you get keyboard navigation for people who maybe like me don't like their hands leaving the keyboard, <laughs> but also people who need keyboard navigation. So how important accessibility is, now you don't have to put the dev hours into it, it comes completely with your components. And who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want easy accessibility to make your site better for everybody? And you get internationalization. So with any of the components that are using dates or numbers like date input and your grids, numeric text box, you get the internationalization wrapped up with the component when you install everything for the component. It's nice, right? I think so. One last thing I want to touch on. There's one thing that I think everybody will always need at some point. Help. Not that anybody has ever run into a problem they couldn't solve on their own. So in those cases where you may hit some bumps, you may not understand something, we have tons of help and support. And this is including the 24-7 human support that we do give with our licenses. We also have community forums where other people who are using the Kenda UI library as well as team members are in there to help you answer questions, have discussions with you, and talk about different strategies they used for the Kenda UI components that they've used in their products. And there are even more resources. We have a ton of demos that are interactive. So you can open them up in a plunker and mess things about, try that out and see what changes for you and what things you want to try to implement inside of a live code demo. Along with that, we have example projects and webinars and articles that will just give you more resources to help you guide through beyond the documentation that we already have. And in our documentation, you have live code examples and plunkers and just different ways for you to help you understand how to use the components successfully to help you save time in building your products. I hope that gave you a pretty good understanding of what the Kendo UI components are, what they have to offer you, and everything that comes along with being uh, with joining the Kendo UI React component community. We have a lot more coming up. I have some more videos to walk you through exactly how to use the components by stepping through, um, adding them, building a project with them, and moving on from there. But in the meantime, if you have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to us at Kendo UI on Twitter. Bing. <laughs> and always feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at TZ Mannix. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. A few at the top of the video. Arr. Yes, this is a video. I'm not in your computer. Oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> okay. This coming 